Welcome to Bathroom Hasha. Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about how to make your home look expensive on a budget. I'm Cindy, Mrs. B. I'm Mado, Mr. B. And you're watching Mr. and Mrs. B of, of Boss, Boss Design, Design House. House. Woo! So we've been reading your comments and one of the most requested videos is actually how to make your homes look expensive without breaking the bank. Mga budgeted, di ba? Yes, oo, di ba? I mean, now, syempre, mahirap yung buhay. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> kung ano eh, yung sa budget pinag-usapan, di ba? Yeah, there's, there's, nothing there's nothing wrong. It's always good to find cheaper or more economical alternatives to actually redecorate your home. So tip number one is using monochromatic colors, but zeroing in on neutral color palette. Mm. So most of the time, when you enter a home and then everything's kind of like colorful, parang, you know, it, it throws you off a little bit. It doesn't really give this really very luxe vibe unless it's curated really well. Mm -hmm. So one of the safest, um, and I guess doing number one... Rule of thumb. Rule of thumb to make a home look look very luxe is to use shades of creams, whites, maybe grayish. I mean, all this color palette that's really cool to the eye and looks crisp and clean. Mm. But you have to be very cautious about using white because there are different types of whites and one of the common mistakes also that we see is that they're not very mindful of the undertones of the white. So sometimes, Sobrang pute na parang bond paper. Yung puting pute, bagawa sa tide. <laughs> <laughs> and then yung iba, is, it has undertones of pink and green. So the most, the nicest one, ako may go to, is to use white that has a brown undertone. So that makes it really warm mm. white, diba? And not only that, when you use white, it gives you a lot of flexibility to change your accessories, your pillows, depending on by season if you want to change mas it. Actually, flexible pa nga eh. Oo, diba? Kasi if they want to change it and update their homes every season, every week, ganyan. Mm. Winter, spring, summer, summer, fall, Christmas, New Year, diba? So you have at least a nice canvas to work with. Yeah? yeah? Okay, ano yung ibig ng Mattify? Mattify, hindi masyado makintab. Yes. So sometimes, when you enter a home and then a lot of the finishes are very different in terms of sheen. Mm. So ano ba yung sheen? Sheen yung glossy, ito set ba yan, gloss. Ito ba yan? Ito ba yan? Sheen. Of course, hindi ko talaga. So yung sheen eh. Ano ba? Okay. Uh, kasi sabi mo kasi, sheen. Ah, uh, uh, sheen pala, sheen. Okay. <laughs> so... The paint finishes, yung sheen is the matte, glossy, semi-gloss. Oh, diba? Hindi in order talaga. <laughs> but semi-gloss. Ano ba? Flat. Oh. Semi-gloss. Oh. Gloss. Oh. Glossy. And then you have satin. Mask gloss. <laughs> Joke lang mask gloss. And then you have satin finish. Ang gulo-gulo na. Ang gulo-gulo mo na. Hindi <laughs> so. Peace na. Okay. Okay. And that's seryoso. So what is Mattify? Mattify is... It's not makintab. Because in some of the homes that we see, um, there's different types of sheens that you see. So there's high gloss, which is really shiny. Mm. And then you have um, semi-gloss. Gloss. Satin. Matte. Satin and matte. Yon. Sometimes what happens is the light kasi bounces off on glossy surfaces. So, nakikita lahat ng imperfections. So, kunyari, yung wall mo hindi masyadong maganda, hindi masyadong napalitada ng maayos. If you throw a light to it and kita it's glossy, chismis. kitang kita yung chismis. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we call kita chismis. So, that also happens in cabinet works. So, when you mattify everything, but be careful, we don't say matte matte because dumihin naman yon. So, we usually use a paint finish that's called satin. Satin is not something that you can buy off the rack. You need to request it. Yes. So, in the... In the like, for example, um, 
in Depot sa Boysen or Davies. No, sa magre-request sa kanya sa counter like uh, sabihin niya na sa kanya sa atin. So uh, one flat, one gloss paghaluin nila and that's it. Memorize mo. Semi gloss, hindi gloss. Hindi. Flat and semi gloss is satin. Yes. Yes. <laughs> One last is that never use animal paint. I mean, I'm such a hater of animal paint. It makes everything look cheap. So if you really want to have a polished finish, use Duco or lacquer paint finish in your doors mm. and in your cabinet works. Wag so, makalat, guys! Hindi, yung mga tao dyan who's really... Hoarders. Trying to, ako yung pinapaganda ko pa eh. Those who are trying to accumulate so much stuff, please stop doing that already. Try to declutter to make your house look expensive. But by doing so, also try to get organizers that are of the same color, of the same shape, mm -hmm. uh, perhaps same silhouette, same material. And then you can actually use that as a display, diba? And then automatically, it really looks, you know, neat, clean, polished, and expensive. Tsaka yun, hindi, huwag ka matakot na yung bahay mo wala naman. I think also that, I mean, people tend to not like negative spaces, but honestly, giving your home a breathing space by decluttering really works so well. Yeah. right lighting, that doesn't mean just the fixture alone. We're talking about the color temperature of each light. So, a color temperature that's actually measured by Kelvin. So, Kelvin's naman is the numeric value of how yellow a light is. So, the higher the value, yung 10,000 Kelvins, that's so white already that it almost turns blue. And then, the lower value, which is 1,000, that's almost yellow, like candlelight na yon. So, in some of the houses that we see, it doesn't give a lux vibe if your home looks very clinical because you're using a 6,000 Kelvin light or yun yung daylight. Daylight can be used in task areas. Actually, hindi niya eh. I really don't use daylight at home. Which, pang hospital yun eh. Pang hospital. We try our, our kitchens, actually, di ba? Uh -huh. in, in commercial kitchens, we use that. But... To really give your home a nice glow and a nice bounce of light, we use somewhere between 3,000 to 4,000 Kelvins. Yon. An alternative though would be to install dimmer switches. So dimmer switches, you know, you get to adjust the lighting depending on your mood. The mood, yeah. Right? Okay, fifth tip. Sabi yung fifth. Avoid patterns if you're unsure. Naku, panay ko. Ang hilig hilig kong pattern. Ah, oo, mahilig talaga ako mag-pattern. Pero, I don't use it in any place except the floor. Maybe in throw pillows, mm. right? Maybe in a few accent pieces of furniture. But almost never in curtains. Okay. Yan. So, if you want to make your home look expensive, in a budget, change your pattern curtain and change it into a more plain. Either that's blackout or either that's just a sheer curtain. In fact, I love sheer curtains. Wala na akong side drapes as long as it's floor to ceiling and as long as the curtain is wider than the window itself, then your home is gonna look like a nice hotel. Tsaka, alam mo ba, mas maganda rin na, na walang pattern yung curtain. Mm -mm. Kasi mas flexible ka. Yeah, so you're gonna have a lot of flexibility. Oh. Um, Tsaka yung season, season na... You can change it also for season. Alam mo, akala ko joke yung sasabihin mo kanina. In fairness, eh, alam mo sa akin, joke. joker. <laughs> We've seen homes where in all their furniture is against the wall or um, it's really just disoriented. So remember, I mean, in the past episodes, we've discussed symmetrical and asymmetrical. So try to just, you know, decide on what layout you want. 
to make your home look expensive, to be honest, symmetry is always the way to go for living room spaces, for um, dining areas. You try to make it as cohesive as possible through the positioning of the furniture that you're gonna use. Always add a natural touch, whether that's a branch, whether that's just one or two leaves, whether that's flowers, but try to avoid fall flowers. I know that some of you are really very hesitant to bringing live plants um, because you don't have a green thumb. I think an alternative to that would be just dried. So you can get dried flowers, dried leaves. My go-to is actually eucalyptus. Uh, Eucalyptus, that's your best bet. Put it in a jar, arrange it nicely. Actually, you don't even have to arrange it. You really just have to put it in a vase, and then that's it. As a center table, on a console table. Um, and then my go-to for flowers is actually Phalaenopsis. These are the white orchids, and they last very long. Mm -hmm. So you can put it in a corner of your counter, you can put it in your center table and it will automatically make it look expensive. Magaling ka ba mag, ano, mag, uh, mag plant? Hindi. 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 Kaya alam ko magaling eh. The eighth tip is to actually use white in your home essentials. Mm -hmm. So we know that we did talk about monochromatic colors and the neutrals in the first tip now, but this one is zeroing in on your plates, bowls, saucers, you know, try to have them all uniform mm -hmm. instead of, you know how you sometimes you get served on a table tapos iba-iba yung plato terno. or hindi terno-terno. I mean, yeah. there are a lot of cheap sources now to be able to get plain whites na, na plate settings, di ba? Like, saan tayo pwede kumuha ng mga ganun? There's SM Home, there's IKEA, there's... Landmark. Um, Landmark, there is also Mura Dito. You can also try to go to Suki Market, um, that's in Mayon or Dapitan. You can get, you know, different types and shapes, but try to just make sure that they're all they're not. the same and they're not, they're not, di ba? Not only that, other home essentials are towels. Sometimes you have to really stick to just whites in terms of the towels that you use because it's clean lang, you know. You look up your bathroom, fold it nicely and or neatly. Roll it, diba? Or roll it because diba, in hotels, that's what they do. Haven't you noticed that in hotels, everything that they use is white? So try to kind of like mimic that na lang. By using white linens, white sheets, white towels, white plates. <laughs> Ninth tip, add metallic touches. Bakit ba? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, sometimes when everything's all plain. neutral naman and plain, uh -oh. it doesn't pop up. Parang sometimes naman it falls really flat. So, the way around it is to add metallic touches, whether that's silver, whether that's copper, brass, brass a little tone of gold, you know, but not na the shiny gold. As long as you really don't overdo it. It's nice to have that luxe feel by adding, you know, a little bit of metal yeah. into your home. Para may dating, di ba? Oo, di ba? Walang pinagkiba yan sa, bra sa braso or sa risk, di ba? Pag mm -hmm. nagligay kayo ng bracelet. Ng bracelet, yeah. yan. So, 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 you know how when we design spaces and when we design even events, the back, mm. we want spaces to be multi-sensorial. So what does that mean? Sensorial. It touches all the five senses. And that includes your sense of smell. smell. So always add a good, nice scent to your home. So the moment you walk in, para ka nang ano, para ka nang pumasok sa Shangri-La, ganyan. Oh. Or Solaire, ganyan, di ba? Oh. Ako ba? Ano ba scent ko? <laughs> right? So always make sure to have a candle, have a diffuser, mm -hmm. that will make your home smelling smell. really good. good. So there you have it, everyone. It's the 10 tips on how to make your home look expensive on a budget. And if you guys have uh, any question, just 
send us your um, comments. Mm -hmm. And then if there's anything that you guys want to find out or tips that you want us mm -hmm. to share with you, then feel free to just, you know, type type on the box below. We like reading your comments, guys. Yep. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and, and hit the notification bell. Again, I'm Cindy, Mrs. B. I'm Mado, Mr. B. And you're watching Mr. and Mrs. B of, of Moss Design, Design House. House. Woo! <laughs> Hi. Game, good. That was good.